Things will have gotten out of hand, presidents will have gotten displaced and all that jazz and countries will no longer have feasible law and order. There will be anarchy, everybody will be scared, going to the store will be, be frankly, like your stores are going to, like what's currently happening right now in the US in small scale uh, because of their purge laws, because they've thoroughly got purge laws where they allow people to just walk out of a store insofar as the goods, the total value of the goods are under I believe $900. It's like quite ridiculous. And so what stores have done because of these purge laws in certain states in America, uh, is just incarcerate goods like if people want to buy something they have to ask a store clerk to open a, 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 a an incarcerated <laughs> fmcg item it's like you know when you go to what do you call this thing they put cages around food that's what i'm getting at like you know when you go to the optometrist um and you want to try on a pair of glasses you have to ask the assistant to open and lock for you so you can try it on you can't just take it out because it's been uh, secured in the place by something that's what's good they're doing that with food now in america they've caged food they've put it behind cages like it's a zoo so going to a store is it takes you a lot longer you can't just yeah grab your stuff and get out it's so bad that some chains food chains are moving out of certain neighborhoods because they just can't deal with 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 um all that uh what a whole bunch of walmarts are closing especially in black neighborhoods a whole bunch of uh targets are closing especially in black neighborhoods because of that epidemic because of those purge laws because of the fact that people are telling themselves i'm not gonna get arrested it's not even gonna be a misdemeanor i'm i, I am I, I have got permission to just get out of here without paying that's what's good yeah so they have caged food and in this country they're gonna start caging food stores are going to basically operate like the pasa <laughs> have you been to us pasa in the casi <laughs> y'all don't know what's coming to you <laughs> Those of you who don't understand what this puzzle is, all along I've been speaking in my language. So if you're listening to my content on this side of the rapture, you um highly likely, if at all you can only speak English, probably have even fallen off my content by this stage because of how much my language I spoke in the earlier parts. But if you lingered, if you basically fast forward a couple of like steps down the line and listen to the English part, congratulations, you got to hear this. As puzzle. What is as puzzle? As puzzle is a um a makeshift store that operates out of a house in a ghetto that is like um a local nearby place to get your most basic needs like bread rice beans sugar coffee yeah it's not a supermarket it's just a small little food outlet that is just enough for the immediate you know maybe five kilometer radius neighborhood five kilometers is actually quite a lot but you get my point yeah Mm. It's a tiny little FMCG in the Gassi. It's a small to medium business or enterprise of this nature. And it's very convenient because, you know, you don't have to travel all the way to Southgate to get just butter, just bread. You don't have to travel all the way to Eastgate, to a mall, to the suburbs, the town, or even the nearest supermarket that is a good like seven kilometers away. You can just go to East Plaza. There's a whole bunch of them in Soweto. Okay, in gassis, in, in ghettos, that's what's good. Yeah, but these particular stores are heavily secured. People cannot merely just walk in, pick something from the store and then queue to, pass, to, to, to pay for it because the risk is significantly increased uh, in, for, of theft. Their shrinkage risk is, is very high because of the fact that it's so small, there is such little security, it is not regulated the way that big FMCGs are regulated, regulated. so the best way to secure themselves from shrinkage, from basically losing stock, from people, you know, developing sticky fingers and, and stealing and getting out with goods in this particular spaza shop, is to put a, 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 a whole, like, bar a whole jail bar okay in front of this particular shop with a small little hole and you then sell through these bars you give bread through these bars you create one you know uh, uh what do you call this like a, you wield in you weld in it's called wielding welding whatever you weld in just a small little opening to make sure that big packages like sugar and maize meal and whatnot can pass through uh, but not big enough for a person to fit their whole body or their whole head to get in and just basically steal yeah it's like a whole barred little shop operating out of the ghetto mm. and don't nobody come inside nobody but the, the employees are inside yeah yeah nobody comes in nobody queues inside to pay otherwise that place would be robbed of all of its goods within a week there'd be no stock that's a spaza now willies is going to function like his spaza <laughs> y'all don't know what 
did you then do to the country? <laughs> we words, kick and pay, check us. Imagine that. Like you out, you're putting food behind bars like it's some like convict. <laughs> People are gonna be only eight. they're gonna be able to go inside the Woolies in certain numbers only not too many people at the same time So stores are gonna lose a lot of money for not being uh, Willing, you know just for the sake of saving indeed their stock for not being willing to let too many people in at the same time And everybody that needs something is going to be hell is going to have to be helped by an employee They're going to be ha have to be helped by an employee and there are going to be armed guards inside and outside woolies outside checkers outside pick and pay in a way that they presently aren't even the security guards that man stores like woolies don't have weapons they don't have guns they are they they use clubs you know these things whatever it is that it is called yeah mm. that, that's why what is the security guards often get killed whenever they are heists and whatnot because they can't wield a weapon they don't have guns they have just clubs things to hit people with but yeah and they i guess you gotta train them to be strong to fight they've got handcuffs but they don't have guns they don't have guns yeah well there's going to be armed like soldiers outside and lots of them and inside fmcg stores to make sure that people do not never mind uh steal but accost staff members rob stuff like that stuff like that yeah Woolworths and pick and pay and check out say and okay and you get my point they whether in a diapar or whether they're selling clothes or whether they are selling food does not matter they are going to be armed they're going to operate like is Paza, where things are going to have cells on them like, what is this bars on them because everybody will have looted so violently and they will have uh created such massive economic losses against um fmcg companies that that's going to be like a new way of life and the person that is going to install that kind of system in your city your country your hood wherever you're staying is the antichrist he's going to bring his his like military arsenal force people the might of his people and they're gonna come into the country take it over and man your fmcgs like that they will finally reopen you will finally be able to sell and buy from there when there will have initially been some kind of a national lockdown because of the riotous chaos around there will have been lots of looting pretty much what happened was Luna Dal, but like on a national scale that will have happened people would have given anything then to find peace at that stage and upon being given anything to find peace there then will be a person that will somehow successfully manage to bring back order to a state of anarchy so exorbitant that nobody imagined it would ever come back and when that order comes back this guy's gonna be adored he comes out conquering right with a bow uh he comes in conquering you get my point the whole thing about the dude on the white horse the first horseman of the apocalypse he not only fosters peace in the middle east but he is trusted by the planet everybody marvels at him he speaks great things and the only reason why this guy is even given any power at all because remember he starts out a small horn and then he becomes a big horn he becomes like a big fat chunky honcho is precisely because of the lack of law and order in countries and also of the lack of trust by people of their governments they will want nothing to do with their governments their governments will have failed them abysmally and this guy is going to somehow prosper to foster peace first and foremost in the middle east and so he is going to be trusted to foster it everywhere else that's why the ten kings give their power over to the beast countries that want to hold on to their sovereignties are not going to be able to do that because people will have literally overrun governments and this guy's going to have might of military so exorbitant that he is going to prosper to overwhelm whatever is threatening to run a civilian state there will be no room for a civilian state it will have to be run by somebody so the civilian state will then be taken over by a police state fast in a way that is going to shock everybody and the restoration of peace is going to be a new normal that everybody is going to take in their stride they're gonna love it they're gonna hug it they're gonna embrace it they're gonna basically run with it and for them it's going to be better than nothing even though you will basically think of better days you're gonna be singing that song yeah vele vele yeah that guy um you know that old school song i could think of better days when the world was so much better 
And I did not know all this trouble I could never see a world so sorrowful Heaven never told me except it did About this sorrow oh, How can we mend this broken country? How can we ever stop our food from being stolen from the shelves? How can we ever bring back our lost homes and securities now that the world is falling apart la 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 and some dude is gonna rock up on a white horse and you're gonna be like ew even though I could think of better days even though I could remember the day when I walked into a Willy's with my kids hopping up and down and I could grab bread and put it in my trolley and you know walk through the aisles and it was like walking on sunshine oh! even though I can remember a time like that given what came after it it is worth a while therefore for us to have to ask for basically bring a, a grocery list or something and ask for escorts in the store to put stuff in our shelves so that nobody steals them it's hard and there's like armed guards everywhere in the store every corner you turn every aisle has an armed guard that can shoot a person down it's uncomfortable but this is better than the looting than the rioting than the massacring that happened all over the show the dead bodies i got to see all over the street the random violence that happened everywhere yeah no it's better than that so even though you can think of better days you will think that this is an improvement a one up on what it is that you were subjugated to for a very long time after some kind of cataclysmic event slapped the planet you have no idea what's coming when you are this disrespectful to god like thoroughly making a christian spend new year's eve new year's day like they're like there's no difference between christmas birthdays and just some regular tuesday on a regular march yeah mm. you gonna miss those better days when you cared about people and everybody was having each other's back you protected the country but now it's all gone because i was such a celebrity all prolific proportions and my sorcery hey, and now there's no country and i'm a broken heart who's gonna stop all this trash from falling down oh what's your name means annie christ i don't care just come and patch this stuff up <laughs> It's too hard. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Ooh, oh. Just fix it. And he will. But he will instill a police state. And initially he will govern with that police state without forcing you to do anything. But somewhere along the way he gets shot, comes back with a mortal wound healed. And upon him then rocking back up again with a mortal wound that has been healed at that stage afterwards then he is going to be given power by the beast to just insist that I'm God guys I mean look at what I did come on you gotta admit that just at least minimally admit that I'm God right at a minimum <sighs> you know because I mean who else fixes all that chaos in your country did you ever imagine that your streets would be clean again did you ever imagine that you would be yet again dealing with children going to school? I mean, you never saw that coming again. But look at your kids now on that merry-go-round. Look at them swinging in the park. Hey? So, I mean, duh, I'm God. And on top of that, I came back to life. I mean, I was dead, y'all. Oh, but I'm back. Oh, 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 oh. oh, so I mean, duh, I'm God. And whether or not you're uncomfortable with that, you're going to be like, I am Nandaba, anything for peace. And then he's going to tell you, well, seeing as I'm God <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to take my mark and stuff on your forehead, on your right hand. Really, you have a choice. It doesn't have to be too deep. The 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 only liberty legroom that you have to make a decision about this is whether or not it goes here or here. But otherwise, um, you've got to do that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to go inside Willie's at all. And actually, bye. And you're also not going to be as Willie's at all be able to sell and unless you you take my mark so you just decide if you want to be part of commerce and industry or not yeah but if you if you if you don't want to it's okay fine do whatever you know um but like what's gonna happen at this stage is that if you don't take this mark you can't buy you can't sell he will then after saying that if you don't want to take it do you it will stop being do you and it will start it being if you don't want to take it you're gonna die for real 
Yo, how does guy become so tyrannical overnight? Yeah, and that's when the angel of God is gonna hover overboard saying, don't take the mark, don't take the mark, you guys. Otherwise, you're gonna go to Adna Hal and it's already nice over there. You don't wanna spend eternity in that joint. It's totally nasty. The smoke of your torment rises up forever and ever and ever. And you get no rest day and night and like you will be weeping and gnashing your teeth for all of eternity. So be don't do it, don't do it. If you take the mark, it's not gonna go well for you. Nothing is gonna bode well for you. It's not gonna end well for you. Don't do it. And then some people are gonna be like yo i agree like this dude is just heavy in all of his like insistence on us doing this like strange thing i don't want to do it and then like next thing they're gonna be out here manufacturing like it's like what 18th or 16th century france guillotines yo wanna make a latin in daughter what's a hamotar girl he's literally cutting people's heads off whoa and then you're gonna discover ugati crenshap who that's about to get that cut on your neck because you will not take this mark on that day you're gonna discover Gushubile. however before then Marka. Then it's gonna get real on that day, isn't it? Mm. But in the run up to, like I said, level two, like a Look how long when I'm about to eat again. Hey, banana. Now we're getting into homo science and kima ekana. Getting into banana, but the busy guy is doing a little naive. The busy guy is okay, but more than that, all of us are going to be too well worn. Well, it's just my life. I'm really not my own. I'm not going to eat again. Grand shop. I'm going to be more than on the scene. You can't even fathom her. I'm not even going to go grand shop. Oh, I'm not going to my life. Hello, Zayas, a good president, Yako Fella. Yeah, a sovereign country. I really think I'm going to feel like I'm going to shift that. I'm going to feel like 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 I'm going to and um like yeah when i'm multitasking like what women apparently have that as like a whole power and i just it's uh, it, it, it's eluded me mm, can't have it all you know yeah no that's how countries lose their sovereignty because people can what is this a president what is this human individuals that are mad at a structure upon there being the smallest little domino tipping they then are going to take for granted the fact that we've been upset all this time we've been oppressed all this time they will then take over the middle class upper middle class and wealthy that have basically walked around them like they stank like they're nothing and they will cause so much chaos so much anarchy in the country that it will call for peace it's exactly like the forever purge if you've seen that movie then there will be like a need for peace to be fostered all of a random sunday and upon there being peace needed however peace be eluding everybody there will be a an agreement to give power to a person any but basically the highest bidder whoever it is that can prosper to bring peace in a an ecosystem that has fallen apart like no man's business that's the guy that is then now going to be worshipped that's the guy that's going to be loved respected adored and the antichrist is going to be given power by the beast to to prosper to melt all of y'all to cajole all of y'all to love him to adore him to be like you my daddy that's what's good already you're calling prophets our daddy you are you're calling them papa yeah you're gonna be calling the antichrist papa that's what's good he would love to be deified he would love to be called god he would love to be your daddy and yeah and so therefore you're gonna uh, he's gonna insist upon it because who in the world does not get to crack a whip and insist on being your daddy when he prospers to do that which only a daddy can do for a child take care of yo take care of you like he will take care of you in a way that is unexpected it, it, it's it's unexpected it, it you will have undergone so much attrition so much war you will be fatigued from so much um just catastrophe just inhaling it in the sky that you will be relieved when this guy prospers to do that which we imagine no one else could do he's going to subdue people trying to take over your countries from you and he will give you a semblance of peace for all of five seconds He's going to give you some kind of a semblance of peace for all of five seconds. Lo Antichrist, um, Oki, this this my Bob guy. Lo lo hectic, lo kangu ti krancha mungu kant when he's going to prosper to give you peace when you imagined it could never be given. Get to imagine that it could never be restored. Uh, however, the Bible makes it clear that when they say that's why the Bible says that actually, uh, when they say peace and security, peace and security, and then suddenly calamity will overwhelm them. Suddenly. You get to a point of saying peace and security. That whole thing does not happen before the tribulation. We are right now on some Shianang, Tabang, Tibangwano. That's what we're doing now, okay? 
We're trying to basically snatch you guys even from the flames of hell. Marla did like your Halibatu Lassa with Zosi Ligarek, Halibatu Hades and a Lebo Pansula Halibatu Domobon. Mara Lobatla was a move on to language can cast piece of paraffin, Lord Zayadi, pen and paper, notepad, lang kutra, more life thing. Lo mamel. The day's gonna arrive when you're gonna be like, why not listen to the crank K then? Oh snap. Now look at this. Like, who this fool be? He be out here trying to make me worship he. I don't wanna do it, yo. Christ is Lord, like, I agree now. Yo, but why you gotta go and build a guillotine? For what though, dude? Like, that stuff is all ancient. Like, why you gotta bring it back? It's like lost lava, you don't gotta bring it back. Why you got lost lava? I don't eat known as the guillotine is because this guy's just violent like he's like like the dude can't just put a hole in your head guys to your answer like just move it over with Nah, trans and fella a lot derelizer with the kenya alone zumpa zumpa only zumbo le trapa trapa gasa on your necks only trapa trapi wait you can drop on no no trump 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 le trapa gasa he's gonna literally saw your heads off Hala might tell this guy. Una le grand chapu yo is again only jumpa. Marika rabu kimo wali wana hor batung mutaku only drop and drop pp. Only drop a tra tra tra. We sicking tra true true only jumpa. Only in time to nanglona. Avoid marana in the run up too. You like a rabu na grand chapu ko drop a wana gadi time ko ko drop a ka ko robena ko ko drop a ka bring back lost lava ko ko drop a ka lose the career ko ko drop a ka o monele ko ko drop a ka ha ona the career ha ona msebi ta ona chaka ko ko drop a ka ta mama ha ona next thing ko ko drop a ka tlepe tlepe ko drop b b b o a para try lo ona tlepe tlepe ya tengi yo ba sieta so se tsebang se one fella ha o tloba ke le di petsa dieta because na ko ko drop a ka tlepe tlepe o bo we ya pare yo <laughs> so much attrition, so much faster. <laughs> Next thing you are just being dealt a bad blow by the same dude, only drop and cut for station. Only faster, only drop and cut for station. Marane, right now, Lantella. Le drop and na carry so lona lo drop one. Drop PP, drop one. Lo drop one. Lon chan chan nami yona wizi kingi. Jumpa. So if you like Ronald J, le papa action le stama ronza all at the same time. No belly dealer le le ginza. Executor. Cause I get it like a man of the law. A creating laws. What about I create the law? This guy. Oh, only trampang. Oh, create the law. Oh, if you can mow your country and create laws. It's written of the Antichrist that he's going to create laws. I'm done editing over there. So I feel like I hope we're late. Drop it here. Hey, Jack, I can feel it. So I'm editing. I'm going to mow the mow. Eh, this Ogi is going to be creating Milau. It's written in God's word that he's going to create Milau. He's going to basically come up with new ways to sin. He is going to innovate li the letter of the law, reinvent it. Uh, there will be no elections. <laughs> Your democracies that are premised around voting laws and all that jazz, he's going to scrap it because don't nobody out in these streets need to be voting now that he's God, now that he's running you. So there's no more voting. There's no more governments, no more parliaments, no more nothing. Just the one guy that you all adore. He's going to prosper to restore peace when it appears none is feasible or possible anymore to restore. But you will have brought your countries to a standstill, to their knees. You will have been the ones to bring your countries to their knees. Because look at what you've done to me. I'm a country man of South Africa. And yet you are just hanging out trying to act as if though me na, I have never been born. Lana. I'm a citizen of this country. Can I look at green bar, that green barcoded ID I, because of the fact that I can so grab your card. Who bought it? Nothing. Sits out of the market before I could even get myself my card ID. Like that's what's good everywhere I go. And I feel like that's hell for having some old school ID book. Mm. Because the nothing drop you like a poverty. Huluki, do what you want to do. But even moving over to those uh, card IDs and digital IDs is exactly the whole stage that has been set to make sure that the day is going to arrive that like a little cow on a farm, you're going to be tagged with a mark and all of your um carbon footprint is going to be tabulated by how much carbon emitting food you purchase at the store because this whole climate change schmidt rid morale thingy my bobby that's going on is going to also be tied to convincing you to basically you know eat certain things and not others you're going to be monitored there will be a forceful non-production of certain foodstuffs that you used to, you, you grew up loving but they will be scrapped <laughs> Imagine that they're gonna be scrapped from diets all across the world because this stuff is just like a, it's carbon heavy or whatever. That's like another story for another day, but you get my point. Lord Drapwa, get coercion. Right now, you're independent, you've got your minds, you're running around rampant like loose cannons because you know you can afford to like speak your mind and stuff, girl. Ah. 
to speak your mind sister girl oh yeah well um that mind that of yours won't all matter anymore never mind your mind not mattering but there's gonna come a time when you're actually not gonna care that your mind is disregarded because you are gonna want peace by any means necessary and it is that very peace that you're going to want by any means necessary that it's written in god's word that um Oh, what is this what's this thing that is written in god's word that peace that you want by any means necessary it is written in the lord's word that it's you're gonna have it for like five seconds because suddenly you're gonna be overcome by calamity and what is the thing that overwhelms you with calamity it is the fact that the book of revelation is unfolding the book of revelation is unfolding because god is judging the world and jesus is known as the prince of peace and so there is no peace apart from him therefore to attempt to establish peace apart from the prince of peace is to just like fool yourselves the lord rather says that he has come upon the earth not to bring peace but a sword a sword of which is what division division of what does what is going to cause the level of betrayal that you're then ultimately going to endure because when this okima bob prospers to bring peace in your countries there will be others that will unleash to him by like there will be nothing a uh, shifting shadow in them about the, their love for this man but others of you which is pretty much the audience that i'm talking to right now because i imagine you're gonna get born again after the rapture okay uh others of you are not gonna be so happy to be friendly with this guy and it is those others that unleash to him right or die or whatever yeah they're gonna be handing you guys over to be killed father will be against daughter mother will be against daughter father against son children are gonna hand their parents over to be killed etc i read mark mm, i read matthew 10 to you guys i believe yesterday and now today I'm, I'm about to read 21 luke 21 verse 10 as i told you those wars and rumors of wars um spoken of are apparently just birth pains but now you're in the whole child that's been given birth to you, like season that's what's good yeah and the wars that are going to break out in your countries are going to be prolific and many of them like i said south africa is this country that is just so f peaceful it's free of war and even when we break out into hives of irritation and rioting and striking we always just are restored to peace afterwards our police force is minuscule it is weak it it's like my upper body strength it's like you know all of this like random rubbish that is going on even though i'm trying to like strengthen up yeah that's what south african the military in this place is meaning that our president would never be able to subdue with a police state a full-scale like military strategy to get my point like you know quiet down all the angry poor people of south africa all the angry civilians of this country that have been marginalized for much too long who have suffered for much too long when they all break out into hives all at the same time he will not be able to contain them and it was it will be his inability to contain them that is going to cause him to flee a civilian state to be fostered by random james and joes that don't know anything about running a country it'll then be anarchy 24 hours a day there will be too much looting too much basically stores are going to move out especially of certain neighborhoods and with that level of chaos running rampant all over the show people are not going to be able to easily drive to work they're not going to be able to easily take their kids to school so things are going to move inside houses and south africa is going to have to call for help and the help that is going to be coming is going to derealize how south africa does things it is going to completely conquer how it is that we what, what we are leashed to won't even matter i told you guys that south africa is going to cease to be a nation what we are leashed to will not matter it will not matter that we are part of bricks that russia and china are allies that brazil and india are allies and now ethiopia egypt uh, argentina apparently is pulling out because it doesn't like the the um, laws of iran or something yeah type thing uh, so now what's left with that like those additional those additional countries in the uh, BRICS alliance i think all that's left is like egypt ethiopia uh iran the uae uh, but Argentina has broken off, right? Which I believe was invited by Brazil type establishment thing. The original BRICS countries, you know what they are. That acronym stands for them. That whole BRICS alliance is not going to do much. It is indeed entirely strategic, strategic currently for that BRICS alliance to happen because I do believe that much of the strength of the war of Gog and Magog is fueled financially by the BRICS alliance because if you think about the countries that came, that came together with BRICS, it is a lot of them are mentioned in that whole Gog and Magog war, right? Ethiopia, I believe is egypt mentioned in their kush put whatever turkey all that jazz um uh, russia it is either russia or uh turkey or russia and turkey some people beg to differ um argue whatnot but that whole muslim alliance blah blah uh i i, I believe is going to fund a, a lot of the bricks not the bricks uh, sorry bricks is going to fund a lot of the gog and magog problems 
that are ultimately going to come against Israel. And you can see that that is already starting to happen because look at our own country, South Africa, our own nation's sentiment against Israel right now. It is in agreement that basically Israel should be taken over and lie down like a silly little puppy after what do you call this after what it is that was done to it on october 7th like BRICS, the BRICS alliance appears to be standing with anti-west and anti-israel sentiment and with that being a thing you can trust that BRICS highly likely is going to get whatever oomph and strength that it gets in order that it might be able to successfully fund this covert mission that ultimately is going to be very overt to take over uh israel and then it's gonna like fall splat on his face or whatever and we don't know at which place in the whole tribulation the gog and magog battle happens but what is uh, certainly true is that Gingy, certain nations that currently today we can identify as ones that are going to come against Israel belong to BRICS. Is their basic? Yeah, and my country is one of them. <laughs> my South Africa is that big, fat, chunky, earthly bully of people that did not quite have a come in. And you think, Uguti, there's not going to be an outrage against you somewhere along the way that has nothing to do even with the bricks. God's no God knows how to challenge a country with devastation mm, because it fell short so very many ways against his children and against the Jews. Y'all don't know what's coming to you, but you don't got to know because don't nobody care anyway because Kim only busy trying to do 54321 hippie when there is nothing joyful about this affair. Mm. Okay, so now that you've gotten a foretaste of what it is, how it is that South Africa is going to end up basically worshipping the Antichrist, how it is that many nations across the world are going to end up worshipping the Antichrist. The dude is going to restore peace when it literally everything has fallen apart in many countries across the world. And then everybody else is just going to have to basically be subdued to that whole system. People are going to gladly give their power over to the Antichrist because he's going to prosper to bring back lost peace to an otherwise fatigued, war fatigued earth. Now that we have said that, let's continue to read Luke 21 so you can understand how irresponsible it is um, and how futile, how petty it is for anybody at all to be trying to make me envy their lives. Hey guys, the, the dreams I get are just, I'm uh, like, like y'all, y'all don't know what's coming. Y'all don't understand that I'm speaking truth. How am I not? And sadly, a lot of these people are professing Christians and they keep on praying the Our Father Yana that, that are huffed with very limited sincerity to God hoping that he's going to just overlook how offensive they are against him. Hello, no, again, the progress. Hey, my girl, but now, who, who, what is this? You, you want to guaji some me? What the hell, Carabo? I'm happy and I'm cool and I'm good and I have a child, apartment, and five pregnancies. Yo, do you have God? If you don't, then please don't come at me with that flying kick. Cause Kiko, I'm gonna beat you. That's what's good, Kiko. We na like beat being in heaven as a redeemed saint that has finally conquered. Yo, na I'm in heaven. Yes, like it, like I fought. Again, I broke in. Hallelujah. And I was told, well done, my good and faithful servant. You fought the fight. You've run the race. You've kept the faith. And on top of that, you look fly forever because you have an incorruptible body. Here it is that I'm all chill now. And you are just comparing your clear skin with mine. <laughs> there is no acne in heaven. I'm just putting that out there. And I say that because literally somebody went like a diddle spell to make me covered. How like just healthy your skin is. It's like, looking like it's like Korea. For them, it's like they're in Korea. Hey, and they've got like glass skin or something and they're like out in these streets like walking around with a 12-step skin process or without it because like they've from birth they've just been given this glass skin this like korean chick is walking around except she's black and she's like look at me and i don't have any acne oh oh and i'm like look at me i don't have any death oh it's called an incorruptible body beat that anyway no now about korean glass skin where is it going to get a girl like if you like a girl let's have it hey because at this point I'm because stop competing with me women and at this time around Lord drop again so never mind antichrist and I don't have to drop you making j so shame there's no coming back from that I'm you from that Tinasi drop one antichrist grandchild right now we antichrist spirit yanki dropper Young trapper, young jumper. Maragi, I has a good recover mo. To recover so much that we are even able to restore pink to the cheeks. Hmm? I'm going to have a try trap ill. A trap ill. When I go to this blush. Hey. How could I do jumper? Or trapper? Or since I go to the blush. 
ke mo blush mo sfatlo ga le bonneng drop ye lang tumpa lang tumpisi sa lang drop a lang drop aiza and then ka le fa blush if i can come back with natural blush mo sfatlo go nkos leng drop ile lona lo khutla ka poire le le ba se sane le sna chelete lo khule botlhokole sa gone go scanna di di ampitsi tsa lona di asking di add di finger my your arms your fingers your hands because a lot of mark of the beast so le tshore ke tala le business le le gora Kenya lucky star ke tshelo mabanya fish mara le drape ile and le ba putswa and you don't have incorporeal bodies and kagabo is out here chilling now in heaven looking at your little drop one ke the elements ana le pink a permanent to this time she doesn't have to squeeze it in mm cuz she's incorruptible ling tumpa ka nonsense e se e se tumpempable ha ke ha ke tumpe ge marela tsa magong tumpa lo trapwa lang kutla lo trapwa pui 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 lo trapwa lo trapwa because la tena why le batla onketsa mona why are you trying to make me jealous why are you trying to make me jealous don't it me jealous why you want me jealous jealous god is jealous for the body of christ that's all jealousy that only makes sense everything else ila thing It's a fruit of the sinful nature lo tumpwa lo trapwa anyway whatever Arwa leng 21 Arwa leng pele mm nation will rise against nation and kingdom against a kingdom there will be great earthquakes in various places and famines and pestilences earthquake ki ntse le di bona right there's been an, a ramp up in earthquake activity more like there's been more earthquakes in the past 50 years in increasing measure exponentially if you look at the graphs than there have been i guess in the years prior and that is being proven but oh, in this season that is coming this is the run up to in this season at lang the earthquakes are thing trapi trapu yo There's one written uh, described in um the book of revelation in the seal judgments it's literally just the first judgment one of the first judgments right uh, it's basically just the beginning of the end it's the beginning of the matches it's the beginning of the hunger games and it's already really hectic hatwe <clears throat> got that earthquake that after a she galefatsi a the kings of the earth bala bo se rola maphosa ba lona eh that are not going to be able to be there for you that are going to run away that's what's good yeah they're going to be begging matlapa or a wele mo go di mabona they're going to be saying rocks like the earthquakes are so extreme that even the son of man like it's going to crack the sky open ah uh, and show himself basically uh, on some I'm about to destroy all of y'all. Let's just put that out there and they're going to be like rocks fall on us and hide us from the one that is seated on the throne from the one oblomilenga literally wreaking havoc in our lives because like this is not going to end well obviously. It's just so clear that this is not going to end well. It's just so incredibly like properly arbaling. When he opened the sixth seal, I'm reading from Revelation. Who ban now is going to move the next part. Uh If you're reading from Revelation 6:12, it is written, "When he opened the sixth seal, I looked and behold there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth, the full moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale." Let's talk about this just for a second. Why is what Pina Elia Julia Michaels lay uh what do you um King Ya who's that guy featuring Julia Michaels? I forgot. Um I was just yeah I even rewrote like the the Christian version if the world was um gingy now if the world was ending you'd come over right you'd come over and you'd spend the night would you love me for the hell of it um all our fears would be irrelevant now if the world was ending da 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 da, da the sky is falling da 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 da, da they talk about the sky falling and I'm like yeah but about love they have no idea what's coming the world is literally coming to an end and your version of how to deal with the end of the world is Julia Michaels feature gingy what is this uh, what's the what's that guy's name featuring Julia Michaels you are going to try to hug each other with like Christ is the only way out the sky is literally going to fall because that's what it is that is written right here it is written that the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale you're not going to be thinking about hanging out with your boyfriend or your baby daddy you're not going to be thinking about hanging out this society saba sadi you are not going to be thinking about even wanna how more link than go courage you're going to be freaking out in your own individual capacity as to what is happening and is god judging me because when you are being judged by god you stand uniquely as an individual in front of him and with uh, and and so therefore everybody else ought not matter everybody else does not matter it's just you and god and you're being dealt a bad blow because of your wickedness and all you can think about is oh the sky is falling and now i'm holding you tight would you love me for the hell of it all our fears will be irrelevant if the world was ending 
you'd come over right. You'd come over, you'd come over, you'd come over right. Mm -hmm. That's all you can think, on it? Hey, you're gonna know what in the world and the heaven you're actually gonna be doing when the sky's falling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. The sky vanished like a scroll that is being rolled up and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then, listen to this, the kings of the earth and the great ones and the generals and the rich and the powerful and everyone slave free hid themselves in the caves among the rocks of the mountains calling to the mountains and rocks saying fall on us and hide us from the face of whom of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of their wrath has come and who can stand amen hallelujah individually you will be crying for that kind of mercy you would much rather die than have to deal with facing god and yet today 31 december kimo new year's eve omingimtana spending it by herself until it busy arrera to a whole bunch of people that could not care less to listen and on top of that they want her to be envious why would i want to envy such rotten people this is what is coming how is the link like look 21 then he said to them, how much time do I have here? Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation. Kinder, okay, I've already read that. There will be great earthquakes and in various places, famines and pestilences. Uh, the other day I spoke about how it is that that are not going to be able to survive because of their sicknesses that are chronic. Even though they need to keep on popping up my ARVs. And now we're not about the ARV got tribulation. Anyway, whatever. And there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. But before all this, they will lay their hands. Are you see what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. Listen to this, right? The Lord is saying, Guzo Shuba. But in the run up to Ukshuba, you're going to be doing all this. Yeah. You're going to be leaving God out destitute and stuff on the 31st of December, having nowhere to go, nothing to do, nobody to love. Like, Gutuli Linja fella. Boosh. New Year's Eve. Boop. People are burning firecracks and the fireworks and whatnot. Cracking in the sky. But I celebrate the happy, happy. Jumping up and down, yeah, mmm. Well, I mean, like, before all that happens, y'all, before the sky falls and stuff like that, lo shapa happy. Shapi le straight la mustardengi, even though you look and karwa bear, you're butt naked entirely. In front of the face of God, you are entirely nude. That's what you are. And yet, you're celebrating a day um, where it is that you are, get a day that is entering you into the new year because the lord gave you grace to get to the new year while garabo is living in obscurity suffering you think whatever all you're gonna do is just cross your fingers and hope that this day doesn't come she will have just been rapping on rapping on rapping on and even though she made a very compelling case and she was intelligent very smart uh goodness she had a way with words and metaphors and stuff and all that stuff when i look good when i watch she had the gift of the gap power of oratory but bottom line is at the end of the day uh this like stuff this brightness of his coming this thing about the second coming of jesus christ and the world coming to an end for a very long amount of time they've been the same thing they've been talking about the same thing for a minute for a minute that's what's good and so really, whatever, Karabo, you might, like I said, make a very compelling story at this point. But like, it's been happening for a minute. These proclamations on the rooftop about the Lord coming and all that jazz, it ain't happening right now. But you see, that's just the thing. The level of persecution that you're all enduring us through right now is unprecedented. Is that basic? What is going on with my life is unprecedented. It is pre 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 predicted in the scriptures to be a whole sign of the end times. Look up and look at and lift up your head for your redemption draweth now when you see these things happening. Yeah. And also another thing that is a sign of this basically time being right at the door is the fact that you keep mocking. The fact that we've been speaking about this for a minute there will be mockers and scoffers in the last day saying where is this like brightness of his coming for a minute ever since the, your forefathers the prophets they've been talking about this jesus coming jesus coming whatever nah, 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 nah. you sound like a broken record to season and desist except well like were you saying the same thing 10 years ago were you out full of so much mockery 10 years ago no you weren't were you actively pushing a christian out from society 10 years ago no you were not like this time is unprecedented it's that basic all the signs are culminating together in a way that is unprecedented and yet you can't see it for what it is i'm sorry see a guy yeah. We're going in the sky, and when we do, you're gonna be like, Oh, snap, but like they done told us. They done told us. We why? So, ever turn out to long way. So, it's like I have more bacterial infections than you can already take in your stride, given that there's no antibiotics. So, kick out to a long way. So, 
and focus on Tabayao right now to great song to survive basically getting to the end of this given that it is only he who endures to the end that'll be saved how am i gonna live through this you're finally gonna listen to me my jacket tata langkutwa lisang pat lisang rat Having made out of my life a, a travesty, a tragedy, like a moon to like she's sitting on the precipice of death. All her life, all she can do is go rapping on about Uche, so you can't move to sitting back, Uche, Vile, Banna, Haba, Sebeza. And at this point, Kimosadi, I get Lamona, you hear, Ali, I get Lamona gets at this work that I do. Ngaraki, Yvonne, Chaka Chaka, Obu, Kibinam, Komboti, I work hard. Every day to make them be a um comporti. Wake up early every morning to make it be a African be a kangu timinangu man women lamini. Why? Because of the fact that you all get drunk from this work instead of sobered. And you're not getting fed. La tawa, la tawa. You stagger about like drunkards because you can't stand the gospel. You can't endorse sound doctrine and having itching ears. You gather for yourself a great number of teachers to teach you what your itching ears can't want to hear. That's what's going on. You, you, you cannot stand the truth. You exchange the truth of God for a lie. And so God sends you a strong delusion. Therefore, when you hear the word of God, when you hear the gospel, when you hear Christians basically speaking the truth of God as they are anointed by the Holy Spirit being led to speak these things, you are dagwafied. Ni a dagwa. Wait a king. Kihale ka lathabu sootsi. Kwelang bamba. Ake akibu yi nonsense na. This is not methylated spirits. Cheap booze. Yeah. You be thinking the gospel is cheap booze because every time you listen to a, go a gospel servant speak, la dagwa. You get circles, concentric ones in your eyes and currently hypnotized. The way it is in the you get vus. You get mad. You gnash your teeth, you bash your, your fist against the Most High, and you band together clubbing against that believer, and you try to throw them headlong. And then when she goes home, the da jawa nkutwa, where man lamin walo na all of a sudden mukombo to will be converted into grape juice. Mukombo to o, it lava me it's ilang kutwa. Lo mukombo to so by ising kwa you will finally eat the way that you are supposed to eat. Ising kwa na kona esi dry. Ising kwa na kona esi ngena bata. Ising kwa kwenye shabisi ngena ngiti na manzi the way si dry ngako to koto uzo si la why? Because it's the only thing feeding you now, isn't it? It's the only thing feeding you now. Right now, you man, like, you man, you man, you man, you Everybody, upum combo, come and drink my way, my magic be ya. You think who tum combo to learn? I mean, I said every single day to bring you the gospel, God, and you drink it with hardship. That's what's good. You can't deal. You can't deal. You can't endure sound doctrine. You have exchanged the truth of God for a lie. And so you persecute Uif on Chaka Chaka Wabantu volume 2.0. I have an Akim combo to it's okay. It's a wang for now until later on you get sobered by the very same message that I'm speaking. How are you going to try to make a woman envy you, Grenshap, when you're so evil? Like, I don't get it. Like, your wickedness leaves a lot to be desired, and yet, you're sitting where you're sitting trying to make me envy your worthless lifestyles when I'm going to heaven. Hey, Bachung, let's go away. Kyanka sebet and never level on num kumbun to wating yolo sa olo sa rating, la un and jeffela just so you can forget about your pain. It won't rain mkombo tinitao until you stop. That's what's good.